Hey everybody, it's Saturday, it's almost noon. I'll adjust the angle a little bit. And uh, getting ready for my shave. Uh, I'm gonna do a head shave afterwards. Um, and then just do my face. Today's kind of a uh, Peter Charcalis shave. Um, he gave me the soap sample, and he's also gonna be on the round table tonight, so I figured let's use some stuff he likes. So he sent a the Beaver Woodwright, the uh, Captain's Pipe. And typical Peter fashion, huge sample. I plucked some off. It's in my bowl. Doing a real quick light soak on it. I won't say it's Peter's favorite aftershave, but we all know how much Peter loves Alphine. So I figured I had to use that. Using my straight again. And then Peter loves the synthetics. So I'm going with my Nathan Clark Slimer Uber Soft. And look at that water retention, guys. That's one thing this brush does better than any synthetic I've, of the three I've tried um, and from talking to others better than most. Let me pause real quick. I forgot to warm up my sponge. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. I shouldn't have said warm up, but you know what I mean. Get it get it wet. I had to quick grab it. But nice little amount in the bowl. I'm just going to load it off, off of here. I'm not going to uh, bowl lather though. It probably still will kind of obviously start building the lather. It's a very, very intense smell. Pipe Tobacco Cherry are the notes as advertised. And I'll tell you what, when I opened up the package, it was in a Ziploc bag, and it just popped. Um, instantaneous, it, it, to me, yeah, it just, I can see why Peter loves this so much, because he loves strong scents. You do, you get that pipe tobacco, you know, cherry. It's got that sweet cherry into it but darken down with that pipe, you know, tobacco, which can always be a really sweet scent too. And yeah, it's, it's strong. Never used Beaver Woodwright. Um, I know he, uh, Kelly Hogan is redoing labels and such like that in containers. So he's been doing a discount. Um, I think it's like $10 for a tub. Normally it's 14. Um, I know it's limited availability of what's left. I just looked and at least on his site, Captain's Pipe, um, I didn't see it on there being available. But I may have missed it, I was in a hurry. But yeah, people have been singing the praise of this and Peter knowing how much I'm a tobacco head like him like he is. He sent this to me along with a Van Ule. I think it's the one he helped uh, design, I guess you could say. I don't have it near me to tell you the name of that one. But uh between the two, just smelling them side by side, this was the one I had to go for. It's going to be a warm day out. Um, to me, this is definitely a... Uh, I can imagine this being a killer scent in the fall-winter time. It has some sweet dark notes to it. Keep adding some water. Straight to shave number nine. Technically day ten, but it's day nine of shaving. Since I had that one day of being sick and if you haven't seen the uh Artisan Spotlight with Beaver uh, with Kelly Hogan, uh, Peter Charkhouse's site or YouTube page. I really suggest you check it out. Really get to know the guy. I didn't really know anything about him. Um, get to see some of his uh, brush work and other work that he does. Plus talks about you know soaps and different things like that. So to me, really really cool. All right, that should be good. Get this show on the road. Gotta get ready to uh, go out some, get some coffee. And then, uh, actually, first I gotta go sign up for my, uh, I'm gonna do my, what do you call it, uh, concealed weapons permit class next Thursday, Friday. So, I gotta go sign up for that.
and grab a little bit of food and take it over to the coffee shop. Hang out there for a little bit. Kind of my uh, start to my day. Kind of took it easy this morning. Just watched, uh, put the elm on the wrong fingers again. Um, I just watched episode two of Hard Knocks. Not a Texans fan, but a uh, huge J.J. Watt fan since he's from Wisconsin. He lives about 15 minutes from where I'm born and raised. Really good quality scent strength here. Definitely on point. Probably just doing two passes today. I'm going to try a little something new too on my against the grain pass. I'll explain that here in a second. Flip the sponge, wet the face. It's definitely this soap, easy to lather. Um, definitely exploded really good. Took on a good amount of water. Just watered my face down. I kept a lot on there. You can see it's accepting that water just fine. The scent has not died down on the brush at all. Sometimes soaps will do that, especially some of the citrus notes. You know, obviously this isn't citrus, but those scents may die down a little bit because um, they're the top notes. But this being a sweeter, darker scent, not finding that to uh, be the case. I'll check slickness on in a second. What I'm going to do for my against the grain on the uh, the neck's going to stay the same, but on the top, I'm going to try to go from jawline up towards the eyes more, so it kind of becomes a hybrid against the grain for here, but then also going up. Seeing if I can uh, get that to help me a little bit.
just that half of the neck, I'll just show you real quick, this top little part there, that's all just from that little, I guess you'd say, quarter of my face. So, what am I doing? This one would be a little different because now it's going to be it's not working the way I want. Try with this hand. Lather that back up. While I experiment a little bit. doing tell you what I'm not I'm not thinking my strokes through today honestly I've been finding myself uh, focusing on the scent of this soap a lot and just kind of really digging it so it's kind of making me uh, not think straight I'm going to do one more thing on the up. I like to have a really smooth off the upper lip.
And I noticed yesterday when I did the two pass, it wasn't as smooth up there as I normally like. So I'm gonna uh, quick clean up and I will be right back. I lied, I'm not done yet. Um, after cleaning up, not like the bottom part of my jawline just wasn't too a place where I'd be satisfied. It wasn't bad, but it was, to me, it was extremely noticeable difference. I don't mind if, you know, I feel a little stubble like around my certain spots, but when it's a noticeable difference. Uh, that looks much better. So now I'm gonna uh, I'll go into my head shave and I'll come back when I do my uh, aftershave splash. All right, I'm back, everybody. Um, real quick, um, I'll try to keep this short. But time management, something I've learned recently too, because I've been using the um, Integrity Bomb, which I just did, did as well. While that's soaking in before I put my aftershave splash on, that's when I'm taking the time for time management's sake to take my razor and strop it on the uh, the rough side, so this side. That way it dries the blade, but then also it's ready for me then tomorrow to just do the regular stropping. Time management, figure it's, my stuff's gotta dry in a little bit, so I'll go from there. I used my Schick injector on my face, or my head. I did do one little touch up here with the injector because I didn't realize I had missed that spot and Figured the rest of the neck felt really, really good. Overall, the shape feels good. I'm not noticing a big difference from that angle, different thing I did there. And since it felt awkward, I probably won't do it again. Alphine, for good old Peter. And I still got that uh, cut on here, so I'm not going to be using both hands. Beautiful one pass head shave with the injector. Um, touch up on the crown of my head and then a couple get a little divots back here but other than that that's all I had to do and that was I want to say either three or four days growth so a lot of growth in there and then my deodorant today I'm gonna break out the its sister Otra uh, the sister Otra yeah, I'll wear that when I go out. All right. So honestly, I'm finding I can get a pretty good two-pass shave. Um, my neck is sufficient. You know, it could be better. It would be better with a DE, but totally sufficient. I'm Like I said, this side always seems to get better because I'm using my right hand in a lot of capacities there. Um, got a little more work here. There's some more touch-ups to do, but I feel like I'm getting it. I'm really excited to get some of the, uh, the vintage razors. Um, that I uh, bought and are gonna get honed, just so I can try to find out difference of the blades, that kind of stuff. So everybody, I gotta get going. God bless, and I will see you guys tonight at the round table.